Right, so the other day, Tadej Pogacar caused a bit of a storm when he uploaded a training ride, which was basically got the con up Valdebo, which is like a sort of classic climb in Calpe, which is basically where most professionals go to ride their bike in December to January, February. And what's really interesting about this is obviously you guys see all their training efforts. And this video is literally just going to be about like how good professional riders are because it is quite crazy. So Pogacar got the con at like 28.8k an hour. These boys did it in a bunch. So there was like a race um, in the 19th of January with um, the Lotto Sudal boys. So that's why they've all got some crazy power data. Uh, and we're just gonna go go have a look at it all. So first of all, we'll actually, that's Ben O'Connor's data. Um, well, we can, we can see we're gonna go through first. There's, there's a lot of different data I've got coming up, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll go have a look at Thomas DeGent's ride first. So he did about six and a half watts per kilo, but obviously we're sitting on and stuff because he said he was 71 kilos on the day. Um, did 470 watts, which is obviously very, very impressive, but actually not as crazy as other numbers we've seen. So AG Tua did the same climb today. Um, they did, so this is Ben O'Connor, who obviously fourth in the Tour de France. He did 440 watts for 19 minutes, which is about what I've seen from him before. Super high heart rate, I think it's six and a half watts per kilo, which is really strong. And he's definitely done more. I think the best I've seen from him is about 6.6 .6 or so. But again, we're, we're going to talk about these things later, but you'll see some of his teammates are crazy. So this is Clément Champouzin, um, who's a super strong boy as well. Um, and he did some crazy numbers. Look at this, 7 watts per kilo for 18 minutes, 26k an hour. And some people may say the power meter is inaccurate, and I think you can take that with a pinch of salt. But he did beat Ben O'Connor by quite a lot. And because it's a fast climb, he did a lot less watts as well. But, I mean, 7 watts per kilo for 17 and a half minutes is absolutely bonkers. And you think Champouzin... I mean, we can go on his pro cycling stats, like he's good, but he's not like, he's not that good. And you're just, I think that's the thing that's crazy is that like, for instance, Shambuzan, like this year, like what's he done? Like he won a welter stage, which was really impressive, but like, he's definitely not the strongest boy around and he's whacking out like seven watts per kilo. I mean, it says he's 61 kilos, he says 59, but you know, it's high six to, to seven watts per kilo, which is just bonkers. This is Ben O'Connor's data, but you're going to see more of this. So then we can go over to Mathieu Bergadou, who I hadn't even heard of until today, maybe my ignorance. He did a five minute test and a 20 minute test, five minute test, 7.9 watts per kilo. And if you look at it, like the VAM is like 1700 meters, but on 6% going 28k an hour, like maybe it's slightly wrong the pound of your day or his weight, but it's still pretty crazy. And on this, he again did 386, six and a half watts per kilo. Like these boys are just so strong and they don't even see them. Anyway, we'll go over now to um, a 20 minute test. This is often where some web do their testing. So you can see Wilco Kelderman, Timon Aronson, Remy Rochas. So if you saw my last video, he, he, I rate him really highly, Louis Vavarka. You can see all the rest of these boys as well, what numbers they do. Nicholas Roach said the best power he ever did was 460 watts for 20 minutes, which is just crazy. Um, but we can look at Wilco Kelderman here. He did 6.6 .6 watts per kilo for 19 minutes, which again is like, there's this bit here. So if we go more onto this part here, like six and a half. I mean, it's just crazy how strong these boys are. It really is. And this is like not in their peak condition. Like he did this test um, in January, like very early January and still doing that. It's just... It's just bonkers, but we can see here again, we have, have Timon Aronson. Um, he did a more of like a, uh, a three minute test and a 20 minute test. So he did a three minute test here, which was 564 watts, eight watts per kilo for three minutes, which to be fair, eight watts per kilo for three minutes is not is not crazy, like crazy impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Like I have done eight watts per kilo for three minutes myself and I'm not that good at riding a bike, but I guess he probably doesn't have much punch and doesn't train it, but 6.6, .6, 460 watts almost for 20 minutes is bonkers. Like, he's someone to really watch out for. He's done some ridiculous numbers in training, this boy. You know, came close to winning a world stage before. Um, and then these were just some, like, I guess, chain gang efforts or something. But still, like, super, super strong. And, like, you know, it's impressive how how good the boy is. Um, so we, we can then go into Remy Rochas as well. This was a Cofidis training camp as well, um, where they did some good numbers as well. And he was, you know, 51 kilos is what the internet says. He did about seven watts per kilo for 20 minutes as well, which is just crazy, which may not be 100% accurate. It's always hard to tell, but you think the thing is with these is that if you weigh less on your own, you actually go so much slower because 6%, 27K an hour, that's quite a lot of like air resistance against it. So maybe it's a little bit heavier, but even so, like it's crazy what these boys are doing. Like everyone's just whacking out close to seven watts per kilo for 20 minutes. We then go to Louis Vavarka, less impressive, 6.2, but still 420 watts um, from him. 
And then we can also go over to Ethan Vernon, who was doing a 15 minute test this week, um, when we're gonna go over to more of this climb, which is 440 watts uh, for 15 minutes, which is really impressive for like a young lad. Okay, 5.9 watts per kilo for 15 minutes is not crazy impressive, not gonna lie, but still super strong. So quick step like to do sort of a, a, five, a 15 and a three. So I assume they're probably using a critical power calculation. But you can see here like Ilian Van Wilder as well. We can have a look at his numbers, but it's just crazy like how strong these people are in training. And it makes you really appreciate that like, you know, how good they are at um, also like at the end of a race. So here he did four, I assume he did like 400 watts for 15 minutes, which is pretty decent. But quick step seemed to like to do some potential, some fat max testing because it's not like super long. Um, so you can see here, it could be lactate testing, but I don't think it is, but this is just like sort of tie them out and then they do a 15 minute max effort, um, which again, he did some good numbers. But now I'm gonna get onto someone who I think has also done some absolutely crazy numbers. Sorry, I did look at that, uh, which is Pierre Latour. So Pierre Latour, again, race of direct energy, like super strong boy. So he did some under, over unders, again, the classic tempo spikes, which are, are quite like prescribing to people and I think are really successful. Um, then he did more 20 minutes, again, over unders. And then just at the end of it, which is basically after like 4,000 kilojoules, which if you can ride a bike, it's a lot, just whacked out seven watts per kilo for 14 minutes. That's crazy. Like it really is. And like, it just goes to show how good these people are. Like, I think it's quite easy to think that you're decent if you can do even like six watts per kilo for 20. Like, oh, I'm, I'm good. But like compared to like actual proper climbing boys, um, you're just not. You can see Jai Hindley's numbers as well. Uh, a lot of these are just mainly the somewhere boys who've done the tests up here. Tarbana climbed to rats. You can see it's like more people have done their efforts up here. So you can see like Jeremy Cabot or Mikel Honore. Um, but yeah, it's it's really impressive just to see how like how strong everyone is. Uh, and I think it's, it's rare to see it. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this sort of quick video just about power numbers and all the rest of it. And if you've got any other efforts that you think are really impressive or anything else, let me know. Uh, there are obviously like a fair few climbing training climbs that people do, uh, but I think these are some of the most impressive ones I've seen. And it does beg the question, what did Tade do up here? I mean, you wouldn't say seven watts per kilo is far off. If you, if we go today, you can look, Clement Champuzan, seven watts per kilo, people say, okay, he was just like 18 seconds quicker than Ben O'Connor, so maybe a little bit less. But even so, uh, if he's doing that and coming 17.31 and he did like a minute quicker, then you know, po Poggy is probably doing a lot. Again, I don't know if he's sat on, but even so, all in all, boys are strong. And if you're not doing six and a half for 20 minimum, uh, you're not gonna be getting good results at World Tour climbing races. So anyway, cheers for watching, hope you enjoy, and we'll see you in the next one.